Okay. My name is Galit Ventura Rosen, as I stated, and I'm so excited to have you on another week of Women Empowering Women, where I spotlight amazing entrepreneurs from all over the world. And I'm so excited to have the beautiful, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to say your name right, Carolita <laughs> Deloach. Yay! Yes. <laughs> she has the most beautiful name, and she's from North Carolina, from the Rockies, which I just think is so beautiful. And I need to make sure I get back there in the near future. So I'm going to go ahead and tell them a little bit about you, and then I want you to take over, share okay. a bit of your journey, and let's jump right in on our topic today, which I'm really excited about. Okay. Yay. So Charlita is fearless, relentless, and authentically walking in her God-given purpose. Beautifully said. Servant, wife, and mother first. She boldly claims her life as a speaker, author, mentor, and known as the life rebuilding strategist, where you coach women to rebuild, refocus, and release in business and in life. I love those three R's. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. I'll just say it again. Rebuild, refocus, and release. Oh, those yes. are powerful. Yes. Well, take it away, beautiful lady, and share with us a little bit about your journey. Yes, well, I'm again, I'm Sharita Deloach, um, and I serve uh, flourishing coaches, emerging speakers, and inspiring authors. And I help them to really create that roadmap to pros prosperity so they can build their solid foundation in their business. So I'm your solid foundation lady. Um, mm -hmm. I'm the beginner's lady. So I get all the beginners, and I love it. Um, so I've been an entrepreneur for about five and a half years now. and But getting into this journey wasn't easy for me. Um, I was really kind of pushed into entrepreneurship um, because over 12 years ago, I had found myself in a bad situation uh, where I was convicted as a convicted felon in North Carolina. And as a woman, being a convicted felon is not easy. So it was hard for me to find a job. It was hard for me to really uh, build my life the way I wanted to. So I made a decision to take back my life and I made a decision to uh, push forward in my purpose. So I started, I began to start speaking. Then I found myself into coaching. Then I found mm -hmm. myself in being an author. So I really enjoy helping those women to basically rebuild and get a solid foundation in their business. I because have I have yeah. to stop you for a second, Sean. Okay. I know okay. in the middle, but it was, you just went through it like it was nothing. I'm going, wait. Ah. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because what happens is it's our story and we've accomplished it and we don't mm -hmm. really see it as that big of a deal. But what I really want to embrace here is you took a situation that somebody else, many other people, potentially could have seen as this down the rabbit hole. I'm never going to find my way out. Society's yeah. given up on me. They're, they're judging me. They're not going to give me a second chance. And you took it and you said, you know what? I'm going to give myself a second chance. Yes. So I really want to make sure that we, we don't just go through that. Like it was nothing. Cause that's a really <laughs> big deal. Yes. So yes. 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 You. And again, it, it wasn't easy, but um, I am determined to help other women that are like me to get it. to discover their purpose. That is, if nobody wants to get you a job, honey, then create your own job. And that's what I had to do. I, I, had, like to, a woo -woo. <laughs> I had to create my that own. Awesome. That's right. That's right. And I, I was determined not to be a sister statistic because many times they say over 85 percent of people that get convicted as felons they go right back into the system so i was determined not to be that although i had and look i didn't have the best examples around me because in my family some are in the system so and and most of the time they go back so I wanted to create a different example, mm. um, not just for myself, but for my children, uh, for my children's children, even for my family that has gone through the same thing. I wanted to be that example for them. You have my heart today, woman. <laughs> you have like touched me because oh. I get chills from you. Thank you for wow. being on. Thank you for being on here with me today because. I think that you are such an example for so many women and men, but we're just talking about women today. Yeah. So many women, because you get in that situation of, of desperation, of feeling like the world has given up on you. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And it is even harder in those times to reach deep yeah. down and find your self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh no. And then you decided I've got this history in my family and I'm not going to continue that history exactly. with my legacy. Exactly. Exactly. So for me, what you've done is you've created a new legacy. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. You go, you go. I'm so, I'm so, I know, I, I know that I've just barely met you the last few weeks through my group, but I'm so dang proud of you. Oh, thank you. So say much. that out loud. I am so <laughs> proud of you. And I am so thankful that our paths crossed. Thank you. I am too. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> thank Sorry. You. We're going to be women. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just amazed by you. So Thank you. I want us to jump into, I think it's so beautiful. Your journey leads you into what we're going to be talking about is how to build a solid foundation in business. Mm -hmm. And that word solid is so important because as an entrepreneur for over 20 years, so many women never embrace becoming an entrepreneur and making the leap because mm -hmm. of the word solid, because they feel solid in as an employee, even Ooh. though honestly, that can be taken from you in five minutes. Yes. That's all they know. Yes, yes. And I know I can relate. It can be taken away from you um, because of my situation. I was on a job for many, many years and it was snatched from me because they found out what I had on my record. So I understand that it can be taken away from you. So that's why we need to, as women, mm -hmm. to make sure that we're really tapping into our purpose and we're tapping into those, those God-given gifts that he's given us, you know? And, and most likely you can turn it into a business whether you can start it off as a side hustle, as we say. Isn't that crazy? Yes. People don't realize that. They don't realize it because they go logical in their minds mm -hmm. and then they don't think, oh, wait, who's going to want to? Hmm. You have an expertise. You have a gift. Mm -hmm. Everybody has something and someone something. will pay you for it. Yes. Yes. Someone will pay you and you have to know that you're worthy of getting paid for what you have. That's oh. the thing. We have to make sure we feel worthy. Of, and I know what it's not like to feel worthy. I didn't feel worthy. Like telling people I'm a felon and like it's feel like they should give me money to do this. But I had to dig deep and say, you are worthy of being paid. God gave you the gifts. Um, I like to use the parables all the time in the Bible where the three men, he gave one, one gift. He gave some three, he gave some five and one went and buried his gift. So mm -hmm. I am so determined not to bury any of my gifts. And I have a lot of them. <laughs> I love I it. My, one of my favorite words is determined. One yes. of my favorite words we have today's challenge in the group is turn fear into determination. So yes. I love the word determination and you are definitely a determined lady and it shows and your passion shows and that turns into success for your clients. Yes. And I love to see my clients successful. Isn't I it the love most beautiful thing? Yes. We're like mama bears. Yes, we are. Bears. When our clients succeed, we like... We, yes. It's almost like a child, right? Yes, yes. It's a celebration because they hit, and it's and it's so it's so loving because you're like, wow, because I decided. Now I made a decision well, to like step to my purpose, purpose, and they. So now because of me, because I made a decision, now they're succeeding. So I want that's what I want women to think like because of you. Uh, because of you doing this, you have the group and you're doing this show It's because it's why I'm here today, because you made a decision. So we have to make sure we make the decisions because, because it's not about us. It's about those connected. It really to us. isn't. It yes. really isn't. If it was about me, I'd be, I'd be on a beach somewhere right. and I'd be, yeah, I'd be working on the computer doing writing and no, no, no. It's about impact. It's when about you impact. from purpose, everything falls into place. So exactly. how can we tell the ladies that are watching today, how to start building a solid foundation? Number one, it's a lot of points that I can give, but we're going to give you two today that I feel that are very, very vital. And number one is to have a business plan or have a vision. 
you need to have a vision. Okay. You want to have it in your mind. You want to write it down, but you really need to have a solid business plan. Now, later on, as you grow in your business, those things can change. All right. But I want you to make sure you at least have these three things in your business plan, okay. at least a, a client summary. That means who are you going to serve? Who is your target audience? Be clear on that. All right. Now, as my business has evolved, evolved, have I changed my target audience? Yes, I have. You know, but I've gotten, that's because I've gotten clear on who I am destined to serve. Um, number two in your business plan, I need you to have, I need you to have a, a marketing plan. Who are you, how are you going to market to these people? Where are they at? Um, where, I mean, how are you going to do that? You're going to do it online, offline, you know, so you need to have a plan on how you're going to do that. Also, another, one more thing with your business plan, I need you to have, I need you to have some business goals. I need you to figure out on your plan, how are you going to be in year one, year two, year five? What do you expect? What do you see? So number one is to have a business plan. I gave you guys the three components and it's more components to a business plan, but I wanted to highlight those three. It's a starting um, point. It's a starting point. Yeah, if you want more, they hire you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, the second thing I think is vital for you to have a solid foundation is your, in your business is a mentor or a coach. I cannot tell you how vital, and I'm not saying that because I'm one. I am saying I'm because the, same way. The, coaches, the coaches I have hired and will hire have made a impact in my business. We got to remember we cannot do this by ourselves. Well, we, we don't know how. We um, don't know how. Not everybody knows everything. That's why. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so when I say it just like you. I am exactly the same way. I'll say, look, if it's not me, hire someone else. I can't buy every single one of you. But what a lot of women don't recognize and a lot of people in this world don't recognize is you don't know everything. That's why there's yes. experts. So you know what you know. Now you got to ask somebody else to show you what you don't know. Yes. And yes. you want to be like them? You got to learn from them. Exactly. Exactly. So no, that's right. what I feel. That's vital. And we miss that sometimes. All the time. So afraid of, of spending money. We think that we're supposed to just spend money on tangible things instead of spending money on the intangible yes. things that will bring us results later on. So because I made a decision now, it wasn't easy for me because I wasn't used to investing in myself, nor did I always have the example of investing in myself. Now, I will say my mom is an impeccable business woman, but her too had to learn certain things. So when I learned to invest in myself, I know that, yeah, I invested money and time, you know, into me. But when we think about the money, we automatically think, oh, no, I'm not worthy. It just goes back to we saying we're not it's worthy. It's not usually about the money. It's usually about being worthy. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I made a sacrifice to yeah. invest in myself. I invested in an impeccable speaker coach. I'm not sure if you know Cheryl Woods. So big shout out to Cheryl Woods. She's an mm -hmm. international speaker. She's a coach, awesome woman that helped me to learn about speaking and having it as a business. I love it. Because because at first I thought I was just going to run my mouth, but I didn't understand the art of speaking. I didn't understand on how to get paid as a speaker, how to negotiate as see those things that she's taught me. So that investment that I invested in her years ago is paying off tremendously. Oh, please, it pays off in one speaking engagement. Are you? Yes. <laughs> I, I tell my clients, cause I am also a speaking coach and a business coach. I oh. tell my clients, I go one client, you pay for me for six months. Or wow. one speaking gig you pay for me for three months. I'm like, three months. hello. Yeah. Right. So let's go over real quick over the business points again. And then I want you to tell everybody how they can get a hold of your awesomeness. Sure. So they can learn sure. more about you. So sure. we talked about putting together a business plan, knowing right. who your client is, right. knowing what marketing plan you have. Exactly. And having business goals. And having like, goals you want to elevate. Right. Whatever, one year, two year, five year, whatever. Yes. 
And then, of course, I remembered the last. And then the second one was um, finding a mentor. But I feel like there was one in the middle I missed. No, it wasn't. You got it. Good idea. (laughs) Finding a mentor and a support system. And very important, before Charlita talks about how to get a hold of her, I want to share with you that if you've got people around you that are not supporting you and people that are telling you you're dreaming. And I had that at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you, I'm very blessed to have a a family of entrepreneurs, but I had friends going, are you crazy? Someone's going to pay you that to teach them what? Yeah. That person's not in my life anymore. So clean up house. Yes. That don't believe in you really have nothing to do with you. They have to do with themselves and their Mm -hmm. own insecurities. Mm -hmm. So clean up house and find people that will support and love you because yes. there's enough people out there, even if you don't know them, that will do it. Exactly. Very well. And that has to do with the mentor piece and has mm-hmm. to do with the support piece. Exactly. So tell yeah. us how we get a hold of your beautiful, beautiful self. Yes, you can connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Sharita Speaks. You can also visit my website at www.sharitaspeaks.com. So those are the most ways that you can very very much get in contact with me. And we'll make sure when we go ahead and get off the interview, make sure you put the links on on the comments on YouTube and I'll be putting it in the group and make sure you put them in the group as well. So they have a direct link to you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, beautiful lady. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're my pleasure. You're so beautiful. We could probably talk for hours. Yes, we can. I know, right? (laughs) And I'm excited to have you as part of the group as well. So thank, thank you, you for what you, what you engage in, what you offer. I thank you so much. I appreciate you for having me. All right. Let me hold on just a second. It's not letting me. It's so funny how. There we go. Yay. 